Why? 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 Why do we fear to leave our houses? Why do we fear to go into the streets? Is it simply because of albinism? Simply because of the color of my skin? People spit when they see us. They laugh at us. They call us names. Even strangers come to touch and feel our skin. And I, as a woman, men might rape me. Why? Why do all these things? Am I not beautiful? Imagine a world where skin color does not matter. What is albinism? Albinism is a genetic condition where one is born without skin pigmentation. And as a result, this leads to white skin, fair hair, and often low vision. I remember my first day in school. No one wanted to sit next to me. No one wanted to shake my hand. How would you feel as a child like me? I was late and confused. Then, I grew up, I became a woman. In a black community where I come from, they say I am white. And in a white community, they say we're even more white. And I say, does skin color really matter? Can one's color be better? In Zimbabwe, where I come from, there are between 14,000 to 17,000 people like me. And we all face so many challenges. I remember my first day in school, like I said. But then, I grew up. I became a woman in a society where women are looked down upon. And as a woman with albinism, I was less accepted. But in spite of all this, I became happy. I got married to a man who promised to love and cherish me forever. Mm. <laughs> but soon, happiness went away. My husband felt sorry for marrying a woman like me. I was abused physically and emotionally. This life was not easy. But after seven years, I told myself, Gwen, enough is enough. This abuse said to stop. I took my kids and I left that man. Yes, I left him. This bold decision changed my life. I started going to meetings, attending meetings for people with albinism. And there I realized they also face social isolation and discrimination just like me. Most families reject people with albinism. We are, with the society excludes us from, from social gatherings. Employers are reluctant to employ us. We cannot afford health treatment. We cannot afford sunscreen lotions or, or protective clothing. And then there are witch doctors who lie to men that if they sleep with a woman like me with albinism, HIV AIDS is cured. Still in Africa, we come to East Africa, where people with this condition are killed body parts cut off, and sold for ritual purposes. Why do all these cruel things? Why? Then together with my colleagues, we realized that only us, people with albinism, can, can put an end to all this. Only us can, can, can get ourselves out of these shells these ladies and gentlemen gave me the courage 
to start an organization, to start an initiative for people with albinism. And the name of my project is called Zim Albinism Initiative. We're going to work on three main strategies. One, transformation, where we organize self-confident self building um, activities. Two, we will create social media or real-time inter interacting social hubs where we can meet and share ideas, lobbying. Here we will ask the government to help us with our medical problems, ask employers to employ us. We need access to free or low-cost sunscreen lotions or, or protective clothing. Then our third strategy, sensitization. This is going to be a startup phase for, our, for the next six months. Here we are going to educate members of the society on what albinism is. We do school visits, we do home visits, community meetings, and also we have an albinism awareness day, which was set by the, UN, by the UN for the 13th of June each year. There we are going to do our awareness campaign. These are our three main strategies. Therefore, I believe this project will not only touch lives, but will change lives of people with albinism forever. For I was a child with albinism. I became a woman with albinism, a wife with albinism, and also a mother with albinism. Friends, I wish we could all see and say, albinism is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Gwen.